Hello, welcome to the channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about the settings you should have for your HRV thermostat and humidifier for the upcoming winter. So the first unit that we will discuss is the HRV control panel. Your fan speed can stay at three or you can raise to four, but you don't have to go to the highest because otherwise it gets a little noisy. Then there are the automatic ventilation settings. So this is set to 20 minutes ventilation and 40 minutes standby. This setting is good when the weather is transitioning from fall, like minus five, minus 10 up to minus 20. Uh, until unless you have some condensation on the windows, then you can change the settings to 20 minutes ventilation and 40 minutes recirculation. So in this one, air will keep moving and keep the air moisture in motion. So what happens is as soon as the air gets stable, which means the moisture or the humidity molecules, they stabilize and then they will go to the colder surface and freeze. So that's how you get ice on your windows or any cold spots. So if the air stays in continuous motion, it reduces the chances of condensation to very low. And then when the weather is turning, let's say you had minus 25 or minus 30 for two, three weeks, and then it's going to the warmer side towards zero, the ice that was built up on the windows will be melting. So what that happens, uh, what, what it does is it makes the humidity in the house go higher. So you just have to remove that excess moisture. Uh, the best way is as soon as that ice is melting, you can use a paper towel or uh, a rag to wipe it off and then it removes it. But if it's getting mixed back to the air, then you can use this setting, which is a continuous ventilation. So what this is, does is it will keep the uh, ventilation continuously going around 24 seven until unless you turn it off uh, and then it will reduce the uh, relative humidity of the house. Then you can also use this dehumidifier setting, which goes by this drop button. So this is the live reading for your rel uh, relative humidity in the house. So relative humidity is the moisture that's available at a certain temperature. So let's say if, if this is just an example, if the air is carrying one liter uh, of moisture at 15 degrees, uh, when the air goes to minus five, it will be only able to carry 500 ml. So that extra 500 ml will be just available for the condensation, which which causes that uh, your windows to freeze or mold to come. So that's why you have to keep this in check in the house. So if you see this number here, this is the set dehumidifier setting. So this is set to 36 and the house humidity is 40. So what this system does is it will try to remove the humidity until 36 is reached. So you can use this setting, which is really helpful. The only thing is that when this uh, is running, you will continuously have uh, air coming out of your vents, which can be a little colder or which seems a little colder than the regular uh, hot air coming out. But you know that it's the dehumidifier that's working on that system. So now on your thermostat, you have to change the settings as well. So if you had it on cool or if you had it on off, you can turn it to heat and then it will show you heat here. And then it works with same with most of the thermostats. Then what you need to do is you can raise your temperature to do your desired number. So I'll just put 21 here. And then the fan can stay on auto because whenever your system needs it, otherwise your HRV system will be using that. So if you don't have HRV, then you might have this vent fan switch by your thermostat. So when you turn it on, it will do the ventilation. The only thing you also need to know that when you run this, it is also connected to your own suite washroom. So that means it will automatically run your ventilation there as well. So now whenever you need to reduce your humidity in the house or you want to vent your house, you can use this switch as well. You also have to change settings for your humidifier from summers to winter. The flap that was closed during the summer will open during the winter, allowing the air to pass through and pick the moisture from the humidifier pad. And on the top, you have a humidity stat. That's where you control how much humidity you should have in the house. So if you see, you can put it to off when you're changing the uh, humidifier pads, but you have to bring it back between the 10 and 35 playing around depending on how the outside weather is. 
So to explain how much humidity you should have in the house, so I'll put a chart that you can use as a reference. So it compares with the temperature, how much humidity you should have inside the house. One quick tip. So now if you have your humidity set to let's say 45, and then your dehumidifier upstairs setting is set to 35. They both will be competing with each other. So this will try to add the moisture as soon as dehumidifier reduces the moisture below uh, 45. And this will try to keep it up to 45. So they both will be fighting with each other. So you have to make sure that whatever setting you set on your dehumidifier, you also have to relate it on your humidity staff. So please subscribe to the channel and follow for more videos. Thank you.